Welcome to our video on trimming the grass over the fence line, who is responsible. The lines that define our properties are not just physical boundaries, they're also legal ones. They indicate who owns what, and they play a critical role in resolving any disputes that might arise. But what about the grass overhanging the fence line? Who should be trimming it? It's a question that has caused many a neighborly dispute. Understanding your property lines and fence line responsibilities can be a bit tricky. They can change over time and local rules or homeowners association regulations can affect who should be doing what. But don't worry, we're here to help. In this video, we'll discuss property lines, fence line responsibilities, and how to handle disputes over maintenance. We will also go over common scenarios to gain a clearer understanding of the topics. Firstly, we need to understand what property lines are. Picture this, you've just bought a new home. It's gorgeous, it's spacious, but do you know exactly where your property begins and ends? That's where property lines come into play. Property lines are essentially the invisible lines that define the boundaries of your property. They are crucial for a number of reasons. They determine where you can legally place things like fences, sheds, and other structures. They also help resolve disputes with neighbors over who owns what. But here's the kicker. Property lines can change over time. Sometimes, due to a variety of factors like natural disasters or human error in measuring, property lines may shift. That's why it's important to have these lines legally recorded and updated. So how do you figure out where your property lines are? There are a few ways. One is to check your house deed. This document should include a detailed description of your property's boundaries. Another way is to obtain a plat map. This is a map drawn to scale showing the divisions of a piece of land. If these methods seem a tad bit complicated, there are other options. You can hire a professional land surveyor. These experts use specialized tools to measure land and can help you determine your property lines. Or, if you're tech savvy, you can use online resources. There are websites and apps that provide access to public property records and maps. Remember, knowing exactly where your property lies is not just about avoiding disputes with your neighbors. It's about taking responsibility for your land, your home, and your peace of mind. Understanding your property lines is the first step in determining who is responsible for maintaining the fence line. Now that we understand property lines, let's talk about fence line responsibilities. Knowing who is responsible for what when it comes to your fence line can save you a lot of headaches down the line. Typically, the fence line marks the boundaries of your property. As such, the property owner generally shoulders the responsibility for its maintenance. This includes tasks such as painting, repairing, and yes, even trimming the grass or vegetation that grows along it. However, Things can get a bit more complicated if the fence is situated directly on the property line, effectively dividing your yard from your neighbors. In such cases, the upkeep costs might be shared between both parties. This means that both you and your neighbor would be responsible for making sure that the fence is in good condition and the area around it is well maintained. But wait, it's not as straightforward as it seems. Fence maintenance can vary greatly depending on local rules and homeowners associations regulations. In some areas, local ordinances may dictate specific responsibilities for fence maintenance. Similarly, if you're part of a homeowners association, you'll need to check your HOA's specific rules. They might have their own set of guidelines when it comes to fence maintenance, which could include anything from the color you can paint your fence to the height of the vegetation around it. So as you can see, fence line responsibilities can vary greatly depending on several factors. It's always a good idea to familiarize yourself with your local rules and regulations, and when in doubt, open up a line of communication with your neighbors. After all, a well-maintained fence line contributes to a harmonious neighborhood. Let's clarify these points with a couple of typical scenarios and potential ways to handle them. Scenario 1, overhanging grass from a neighbor's yard. Picture this, your neighbor's grass and plants are making their way over or through the fence, invading your space. Not cool. These are some resolution options. You can have a friendly neighborly discussion about the issue. They might not even realize it's causing a problem. This approach can maintain or even strengthen your neighborly bond. If the neighborly discussion doesn't work, take a look at your local regulations or HOA rules. Some places have specific guidelines for overhanging vegetation. If that's the case, you can rely on legal or contractual requirements to get your neighbor to trim their plants. Keep in mind though, this might strain your relationship. If local laws allow, you might be within your rights to trim the vegetation that's creeping onto your side of the fence. This way, you can solve the problem on your own, without waiting for others to take action. Just be prepared for the time, effort, and potential cost involved. Let's go over scenario two, grass growing along the shared fence line. 
Here, the grass is growing along the fence line and there's a disagreement about who should maintain it. Have a talk with your neighbor and come up with a shared maintenance plan. You can take turns or divide the area to be maintained. This way you promote cooperation, but make sure there's clear communication and mutual commitment. Alternatively, you can hire a professional landscaping service together with your neighbor. By sharing the cost, you ensure expert care for the grass along the fence line. Obviously, this option comes with a financial commitment. If all else fails and you can't agree, consulting a legal professional might help clarify responsibilities based on local laws. This approach can provide a clear resolution, but keep in mind it may strain your relationship and come with legal costs. Remember, the best solution depends on the specifics of your situation, your relationship with your neighbor, and local rules. Effective communication and respect for legal boundaries are key to finding the right way forward. And that wraps up our discussion on trimming the grass over the fence line, who is responsible. We've delved into understanding property lines, fence line responsibilities, and how to resolve disputes over fence line maintenance. Remember, it's important to know the specific laws and regulations in your location and to communicate effectively with your neighbors to maintain a harmonious neighborhood. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. Thank you for watching.